Right, video, how to change the oil on your smart car. Now, there are a couple of videos on YouTube. Now, I was sucked in by one of them. I thought this has got to be the easiest job in the world ever. And they said, all you do is get under your smart car. So ours is the 700cc. I am not an expert on these by any means. And they said, just undo the canister here. Oh, well, there you go. So just undo this canister. Um, it's got a 27mm socket on it. And you can spin that off. I've loosened it here. And then you take this out. And they said, that's easy. You just put that on and take it out. And a bit of oil comes out. And I'll show you when I did that first. That 27 millimeter socket. And there we go. Let's see if it'll have it. Not too bad. So, so far, I think it's going to be the easiest oil chain on any car in the world ever. Because so far, I've not done one of these before. I'm managing to hold the camera and drain the oil. Have a look at how grizzly my smart car oil is. Oh. I'm not sure how much it's going to gush. Mm -mm. I'm going to let that drain now. I might even let it drain overnight and come back in the morning. Seems to be dry, draining relatively slowly. Might be quicker if I take the, the filler cap off the top. But I mean, it can drain, it can take its time. Um, but not a lot of oil comes out, and I thought, well, well, my car must be running low on oil. But then I did a bit more reading, and it turns out that when you do the oil change um, and you take this off that only drains the bit from here so even if it's at the bottom of the engine you'd think it would drain it all out the sump is under here but there is no drain sump plug now the later and the bigger engines did have a drain plug on them but this one doesn't and basically you've got to suck the oil out so basically somewhere in there there's about three liters of oil or two and a half liters depending if you've got the six or seven hundred um and Basically, what you've got to do is you've got to suck the engine out of the oil filler. So I've had this disconnected overnight. Just give me a hand, George, and flip the other caps there. And so basically, and if you dip that dip, yeah, George, dip that. Oh, I'll, I'll do it. You can film that. So if we just dip that dip stick again. Oh, that carpet does not like staying up, does it? Oh, there must be a tip. There you go. I'll sort of that. Well, it's obviously that's where you fill your oil on the old girl. And then if we just wipe that first, give that a good clean. So I've had that dip, I've had that oil filter removed overnight. But, um, I thought it might dribble out. But there's still, it's still full up to the minimum. So we've somehow got to get the rest of that oil out. So we're going to go and get our sucker out of her and see how much we can get out of her. Right. Coincidentally, it's called a smart tool. But I don't think it's... Um, there we go, smart tool, oil extractor. Look at that dusty old thing. I don't get this girl out very often. Right, right so what we are going to do is got a pump, and basically it's got a long proboscis that we're going to put on here, and it should then suck all the oil out. So I'll get this rigged up, and we'll join you. Right, so I'm going to give that a clean, because I don't want to get any murky, dirty stuff in there. And basically we're gonna to have to go in as long, we have to put this in the dipstick, about as long as that at least, but it'll be roughly that long, just to give me a, just so I've got a rough idea of where it's going. All right, and then in, in she goes, in there. Oh, she's going in. Oh, he's going too far. Oh yeah, can you hear that in the, that's it in the bottom there. So then in theory, if we pump away on this, it should start to suck some oil up. And it might take a while, it won't come, it's not gonna come racing up here because it's fairly busy. Oh, there we go. But there we go, there it comes. So this was all dirty murky oil. We were not gonna get out without the aid of this little device. Now I can stop pumping now, and the vacuum that's in here is gonna go, oh, here it comes. That. And then... You're loving that technology, George. Look at that. Right, and then it should start all coming up into there now. 
So we are going to see how much extra we get out. And this is the sound you'll be listening for. If you listen closely, it's... George has said it's like when you drink a milkshake and you get to the bottom of the cup. It's just like, right, so we're up here. We reckon these are probably litre markings. So there you go. So we've got two litres out of this. Let's tip that out and have a look at that, George. Let's have a look. So this is, if you follow the other video on YouTube, um, by the less than... There's a German guy who's done one. And um, he hasn't got... Oh, there you go. Right, so let's pour this into our waste oil thing. And this is all the oil that you won't get out unless you suck it out. So as you can see, you do need to suck the rest of it out. You won't get it out even if you leave your oil filter open overnight, which I did. None of this came out. So you need to use a sucky thing to get it out. Right, okay, let's go and grab the new filter and have a look at that, George. Get that all set up and then we can finish this off. Right, so now we need to change the oil filter. So this is the bit we took off earlier and on here. We'll have a look if it's, if it's sided. Now one tip. If you're gonna, that took us quite a while to suck that that oil out, didn't it, George? Mm -hmm. If you should take your car for a bit of a spin before draining the oil. The other thing that someone said, and again, all credit to Mr. Evolution guy. So there you go, that looks to be the same either way round. I don't think there's a way round for that to go. I'm gonna give that a clean. The other thing Mr. Evolution said, you could jack the car up at the front passenger side, the front left-hand side, to tip the, the engine this way, so that all the oil goes to that bottom corner of the sump. So your little sucky thing sucks it all up. But I think that's getting super keen. But fair play, I believe that to be technically correct. Right, so here's our new filter. Now there should be an O-ring in here as well. And there is, it. don't lose, see that George, you got that? Mm -hmm. So that we'll need, I'll show you where that goes. But first thing, we can just take that. We'll have the right in towards us, I don't think it makes any difference. When you push that on there, you've got to push it on. Oh, there you go. See how much that's sticking out there? That's what you want. Right, and then, normally there's a little gap around this. Is there a little gap on this one? Yeah, there is, look. See, there's a little gap there in the thread. Can you see that? See, it comes along. Whoops, see my screwdriver tips in there. Right, and then you can, that, so you can hoop that one out. Okay. Right, don't mix your old one and your new one up. And that's what stops your O-ring, it stops all the oil leaking out. Give him a clean and put this one. Now you've got to make sure you get it back in the right groove. Because it, sometimes they will not sit in the right groove. There go. Okay, he's coming now. All right, now we've got to make sure we get it in the right groove. Now there was our little, there's our little gap there. So we know he's the other side of that gap. So there, he wants to be there like that, if you can see that. So you've got the shoulder, then a, then a little shoulder, and then he's, he's sat in between there. Okay, right. And then that, we can spin that on. Oh, right, here he is, he's over it. Sometimes if you spin it backwards, You'll hear it click. And then you, you won't cross thread it, he said. There you go. And you should be able to do it up most of the way by hand. If you're getting tools on it too early on, it's probably not a good sign. Oh, right now that evolution guy said it was 25 newton meters in the book but you reckon that was too you reckon that was too much i mean the o-ring should do as long as it's tight so it doesn't come loose again that's all you need there really right i'll just clean that off and then we can fill him up with oil right so again, you want to clean underneath it so you can see you've got no oil leaks. 
Right, so we got just over five. So I'm going to go down to sort of, I'll put one and a half litres in and see where that registers on the dipstick. So there we go. Take our oil filler. Let's see if we can do without spilling loads. Finger over it. Right, so that should be about enough. Let's have a look. So, uh, yeah, we've got so he's three in a bit. He was five in a bit. So there we go. I've got two liters in him. So we'll let you've got to let that settle down though. Settle down, and then we'll dip the oil when it's had a chance to settle and see how much we got in there. So we're obviously going to be looking for the oil somewhere towards the top. I guess it should be between this divot and that divot. Does it say max and men? No, but it will be. So we want it up towards the top here. Let's give it, let's give it a first dip, but it does take time to get down into the, oh, is that? oh there you go, can you see where he's up? He's up to about there by the end of my thumb there. So we'll give him a minute and try him again. Okay, let's have another dip now. He's had, he's had five minutes now. Right, so where is he now? Oh, look at that. He's just now, he's fractionally over the top mark. But we've got an empty oil filter. So what we're going to do, we're going to start the car now. So check it's all safe and everything. Start the engine. Um, don't rev it or do anything too much because you won't have any oil until it's filled that oil filter up. So you want to like start it a little bit gingerly. And then probably, let's have a look. The oil light will probably come on initially. Um, we'll have to fill that oil filter up. And then we can check the oil level again, because it will go down slightly as it fills up that canister. Right, let's go and have a look what the what it says inside. Right, so it's that oil can light there we're looking at. So if I get there, start it up. Oh, let me try again. I, I don't want to run it too much, here it goes. It's there again. Right, see the light's gone out? The light's gone out, that's good. Okay. Right, that should have got the oil all around the engine now, so leave it another couple of minutes and we'll go back to the dipstick and do a final check and then we're good, she's all done. Right, there we go, final, final dip and then we're done, I reckon. So let's put that in. There we go, so he's just there, just, I don't know if you can see that in the light, George, but he's just below maximum, which is perfect. Um, so yeah, you can see he sank a bit as we started the engine and it filled the oil canister up. So we're all good to go. Oil change done, tidy everything up and we're off.